everyone and welcome back to my tutorial campaign in Realistic Progression Zero. This is uh, part three of our lunar mission um, and in this, mi in this part we are going to launch the retriever lander from the surface of the moon uh, and rendezvous it back with the uh, Labrador Command and Service Module. Um, to do that we have to do a bit of orbital mechanics. We need to, where is it, set it as target. Okay, it is currently 270 kilometers away from us. Now, we know it's... Let me pause this. Um, we know we're going to take about four and a half minutes to reach lunar orbit maybe a little bit more. We know that our target orbit is 112 kilometers. We know that this is traveling at 1628 meters per second and it is at that selfsame altitude. So we need to figure out as we launch we need to, we're going to end up at somewhere downrange um, and we have to estimate about how far downrange we will reach orbital altitude. Um, and I'm going to estimate something like 200 kilometers based on the fact that we will be accelerating over time but in a lot of ways just going up because um, we want to try to to reach it. Um, given our delta V constraints however um, we may just want to perform the most minimal launch we can because we are so that relative inclination is lying but we are significantly north of this orbital plane um, so we may want to just perform a straight up launch with as low a periceline as possible on the way up and then we'll circularize up at apocelene and then perform the rendezvous rather than trying to do a first pass rendezvous because if we want to do a, a rendezvous launch to rendezvous we have to do a fairly inefficient launch which will involve us boosting up and then circularizing once we get near this thing we have the delta V for that I've done that in sims um, but I I that is a little risky um, so, the other option is we, and I believe that sim launch was not with, without as much inclination difference as we have right now. Um, we have our, our, you know, what is that going to be, three, four degrees difference if we launched parallel to it, basically? Um, so, yeah, that's that's not awesome. So I think given that we can survive what is it, uh, 700 watts into 4,300, sorry 43,000 units of electric charge so 43,000 kilojoules uh, we can survive I think about 16 hours so we can we can rendezvous over multiple orbits and that is that is the safest approach that maximizes our delta V. Um, but let's compute just for the sake of argument where we would want this to be. Um, we figure a downrange distance of about actually let's go with 250 or 300 kilometers. Uh, then we need to know we're doing just shy of five minutes let's call it. So we'll call it five minutes and 250 kilometers. So 250 kilometers over 1.628 that's 153 seconds. Um, Now let's subtract 300, that's 146 seconds um, before we launch. So 146 seconds times 1.628, that's 237 kilometers, except it's not linear because we're down here, it's up here. So the actual distance figure we want is going to be higher than that due to the Pythagorean theorem. Um, so 
267, that's actually just about right. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think we're good. I think we can we can try this launch. We'll do it. We'll do an efficient launch to orbit. Um, and if yeah, because then we'll, we'll probably get fairly close on the opposite side. We can fine tune there, and we'll go for rendezvous on this side. So we'll rendezvous in an orbit, and that will be rather more efficient than us trying to launch directly to rendezvous, which we probably could do, but it would be tight on the delta v margins. Um, because we basically have to launch more vertically, suffer gravity losses during coast phase until we get near it, and then burn all at once to match velocities, rather than burning as low as possible and not suffering gravity losses. So, um, this was set up for our prior launch from the moon's surface. However, there's a problem. We are at 11.7 kilometers. We're not at sea level. So we have to increase this. Uh, let's say 12, so we want to end our turn at 30 kilometers. Rather than at, at 18. So, if everybody's ready, let's, let's do this thing. Um, inclination looks right. Let's engage the autopilot. And here we go. Uh, and we actually want. No. Uh, oops, wrong way. This inclination, roughly. Because we need to move down here first and then go ahead and correct. So, there. And we'll turn on fine control for now, because we need to do quite a dog leg. So we want to go almost due west and we'll correct down there. Okay. Scrubber is activated. Now, let's watch in map view. Picked up some steering losses. Gravity losses are mounting, but slowly. Uh, whoops, that's interesting. Unmack Jeb. Why are we why are we doing this? Um, Okay, apparently we have to use stock SAS at the moment. Because under certain circumstances, and let's, let's, where's numbers? Oh, they know, does it no longer? Oh, right, because we turned on use stock SAS, so it won't have the numbers. Um, yeah, I don't know why that there's, all right, whoops, now we want to, lower that inclination right back down. Whoa! That's interesting. <sighs> that was interesting of you, Mechjeb. Alright. The heck with this. I'll fly it on manual. Okay, and we want to be about like this. Okay, actually more like this because we want to gently realign things. Pitch down a little bit more. 
now we'll lower our relative inclination and hopefully we will finish lowering it by the time we actually get aligned with that orbit. down a little bit more. Ah, we'll switch to orbit. And I think actually right now we want to not decrease the inclination that much. But let's keep pitching down. I think we want to basically coast until near the AN. That's about right. Okay, it's 84 and we want to go enough prograde that we're above the surface, almost above the surface. Um, and, oops, that's about right. All right. Okay, let us perform this maneuver. That should get us lined up fairly well. Okay. So we are at 0 0.06. Our period is um, seven minutes shorter than the Labrador's period, which is fine because we're a hair behind it. Um, let's change to match planes with target. Oops, no, we want the nearest day and we'll target, I think. That is a 1.8 meter per second maneuver. Um, and it's way out there. Apparently that is where... Ah, because the DN is very near us. So we've just, le we've just left the DN, so let's burn north a little bit. There's a method to this madness. Because we want to push the DN to where we are almost where we are. Uh, we 
are oh we're already already above it all right let's head around the other way apparently I did that wrong then happily it wasn't that much Delta V yeah okay so now we want to match planes what do you mean why is that <clears throat> can't even tell if we're above or below it let's see we are we appear to be above it but let's look through the center of the planet where are you planet center right there yep we are totes above it so we want to go down Lined up here. Okay. That's better. Now we have the ascending node right there. Now let's match planes with target. And that is a 10 meter per second burn right there. And I think we also want to extend out our trajectory to 112 kilometers. We were really only ever so slightly behind, so we don't want to lose much. So. That's better. Now, okay, this is good. Now let's match planes with the target. It's in two minutes, and it's a 10.6 meter per second burn. lined up. We'll let MechJeb handle this one. No! <sighs> I thought I'd let MechJeb handle that one. Guess not. Guess that was a bad mistake. Now we have to do it again. Now we can let MacJip do this. Okay. That brought our relative inclination down quite a bit. Um, Was that too far? Let's see. Let's see what this does. 
how what do you mean of course we approach the target closely um sixty six okay all right so I think what we actually need to do is perform a maneuver at apoapsis. kilometers. All right, because but let's find out where we are by the time we get to Apocelene. Uh, where's match planes with target? That's in five minutes. Okay, and let's try matching planes. Okay, and Perform that maneuver. All right, now we've matched planes pretty well. Now, intersect one and target position it. All right, so we've gone a little past it, so that means we need to do more than circularize at apoapsis so that we can. Go a little slower than it, let it catch up to us. I mean, let's look and see what fine tune does. It's a 38 meter per second maneuver. I don't want to pay that cost. Instead, let's do this. Okay, it's only a 19 meter per second circularization burn. Oops, and We're totally on the dark side. Okay, so... All right. Now...
we need to burn a little bit extra. Oops. That was too much. All right. That's looking good. All right, so the first orbit will fine tune, second orbit will match velocity, and we'll be good. I'd like to do the docking on the light side, but we might be able to do that here. Uh, okay. So, warp. All right, now let's match it closest approach. All of three meters per second. Was too much. All right. Once we get nice and close, we'll kill off that velocity. Yeah. We are nice and close. Alright. Who needs who needs lights when you have radar? Closest approach is down here. We're inching towards it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was that was too many. I hit I hit the time warp up key instead of the kill warp key. That was bad. It's 21 kilometers away. Very well. We will 
get closer. Okay, and now we want fine tune. It's five meters per second. That gives us an intersect out there. I'd really like a quicker one, but I guess that will have to do. Alright. Should not have, have warped like that. Should instead warp like this. Okay, it's 19 kilometers away. Eight kilometers away. Okay. Point four kilometers. All right. So let's warp to near that. Okay. still. Now we should get a nice, yep, separation one kilometer. All right, so now let's match velocities. That's in three minutes, and it's an 18 meter per second burn. Very well, we can do that. Go ahead and perform this kick. Okay. Let's con 
control from here. We want to get nice and close. That's half of it killed. Okay. Down to three meters per second. Close your right. I think I want to come to a stop pretty soon. Like right the heck now. Whoop. Too much. This engine is just a little overpowered for me. Alright. Let's rotate. And... Ah, we're coming in from the stern, I guess. Why we picked up that roll. Okay. Okay. Let's pass it by. minute until we pass it. I think actually we want to kill off our speed right now. There, that's good enough, because we want, I guess we'll reorient the other craft. Um, That's reoriented pretty well. Okay. Now, all Sandra Curtis has to do is align with this thing. Set as target. And locked. So, we want to pitch down and a little bit to the right. there. I kind of too scared to warp. So that's good enough. OK. 
Okay, I'll turn on kill rotation and target the docking port. And let's head home. Uh, bring up the docking indicator. Okay, and we need to recenter this. Come on. Man, this RCS is powerful. Ah, that's that's kicked the power down a notch. All right. Closing at 40 centimeters a second. And we're good. Let's pull back to 30 centimeters a second. centimeters a second and hard lock. All right. Things are good. So let's open the hatches and let's transfer the crew over. So, mission commander comes over. And lunar module pilot comes over. And let's also transfer the science. surface sample, the all-important surface sample, which I think technically uh, in real life they performed an EVA for because it wasn't inside, I think it wasn't inside the actual module. No, some stuff they had to do an EVA in, in high earth orbit to get, but no, but that was out of the, the service bays on the actual service module. I think the, the science from the lunar module they just carried over. All right, so everybody's back aboard, so I think we might as well cast off the lunar module. Close hatch, close hatch. Uh, there really is no one in this anymore, right? Right. Uh, we'll control from here. And we will undock. Okay, now we will use our remaining delta V to deorbit. In real life, um, the bumpiness of lunar gravity would do that, but we're just going to go ahead and do this ourselves. It is now on a collision course with the moon. Okay, now let's set up a return. Okay. Let's 
focus on the Earth so we can set up is it not even showing anything? what's going on here? where did that maneuver even go? Uh, well, this isn't good. The lines aren't showing up. We've created the maneuver node, but the <laughs> resultant maneuver node is not showing up. Well, that's an interesting bug. Yeah, it's just not showing. All right, well, we'll hop back to Space Center and try again. tracking station. That reminds me, uh, we need to transmit a bit of science because we did select um, contract for science space around the moon. Uh, we could have brought all the life support supplies over, but we didn't. Okay, that completes that contract. Okay, now let us go home. see if this time it'll work correctly. Yes. Good. Good, good, good. I think. Yes. Okay, that definitely shows the... that. And we want a fairly fast return. Let's try 836. That gives us 40 meters per second cushion. And let's try spinning it around until we get correct. It's in three days, eight hours. Let's try the other way. That's in set, yeah, we were right the first time. All right, let's try a bit more. 850. That leaves 25 meters per second for steering losses. Three days and four hours. All right, that's that's fine. And I'm gonna. It's only a th three minute 47 second burn, so I don't think our steering losses will be that bad. So. Uh, now we go back to 10 seconds. Oops. 190, one second. 42 kilometers. 13 kilometers. That's perfect. Very well. All right. So let's go ahead and um, we want to 
warp until a little bit before the maneuver. The maneuver is way over here. It will be a daylight departure. And there we go. Electric charge. We still have plenty. Okay, so let's orient for the maneuver. There's the big old moon below us. It is going to be prograde, which is in one of these directions. There it is. We're going to use most of our propellant, so if we call it three minutes and 45 seconds. That means a minute and a half, and then a minute 50 on each side. Yeah, so a minute 50. So we need to light them up at about a minute 50. Now we are. So we'll complete this burn. Once it's done, we'll reassess based off the um, what our final perigee is going to be. We'll leave RCS off to save propellant a bit. Halfway done. Just about done.
that's interesting. Not again. I guess I over budgeted slightly. I, I mean, under budgeted and over guessed what our. I, I under budgeted what our steering losses would be for that burn. We are 1.8 meter per second short. Very well. We know how to deal with this. just rock a little itty bitty bit. this down a little bit. So let's go ahead and now fire these retros. And let's see what that did to us. All right, that put us below your surface. So, all right. Why are those not turned on? That confuses me a lot. Okay, those two are enabled. That's enabled. That's enabled. Those both are enabled and 
Those are enabled. So why wasn't it damping the rotation correctly? Odd. See, they're not firing for roll right, only roll left. That literally makes no sense at all. Alright, something is deeply screwy here. So... We'll try this. Clear input lock stack. <laughs> now, again, like half of them are firing and half of them aren't. That's so weird. Yep, I can't go right for some reason. We're going to try saving and reloading and see if that makes a difference. That's a weird bug. Weird, weird bug. Same, same issue as before. Only some of these are actuating. That's so super weird. Anywho. Let's warp on out. Let's raise up that All right, something is deeply odd here. Try going back to the Space Center and loading it again. See if that makes a difference. Can't be a test flight failure because I never added the module to the RCS, so it has to be some other kind of failure. Some, probably a bug either in far setting up shielding or something putting on a control lock. No, it wouldn't be a control lock. Could be a bug in my module RCS code, so they're not actually. Uh, okay. Nope, still one of them is just not actuating.
Yeah, only... <laughs> That's so weird. That is so super weird. Oops. Almost there.
Okay, I think this is about right. We'll have a slightly steeper entry angle, but we should be fine. Nineteen sixty four, eleven twenty one, heading home. Okay, in we come. I guess we should have stayed another two hours on the moon, too, because we're probably going to come down not exactly where we would like to. But that's okay. Five thousand, four thousand, three thousand. 2,000, 1,000 kilometers. All right, so time to bid our service module adieu. Whoa, whoops. Yeah, I need to unlock those things. Forgot about that. Whew, everybody's okay. All right. Okay, we're going to reorient. Descent mode to on. Drawing a rate away from the service module. And we're in the atmosphere. Okay, Mechjeb aligned.
dark side reentry to. Let's look at our entry angle. Our entry angle is that's somewhat severe. There goes the service module. Passing 80 kilometers. I'm going to turn on thermal. We have descent mode. We have descent mode on. Why did the G spike like that? That's weird. Something's fishy here. That was seriously fishy. Well, that was a really steep descent. Okay, we've turned descent mode off because we can no longer control our things. Yes, that was that was quite a quite high G loading on return. Used next to no ablator. Almost reached the height of our, the highest point of our skip. Is warp our long way back down. Mach twenty.
getting a little toasty again. Second dip coming out well. The G's come down. We used just over half of our ablator. Yes, I, I wish we had had the RCS to keep a line for descent mode, but um, this, this, they survived, so that's fine. Subsonic, still 20 kilometers up, so we're going to warp down until we're ready to deploy the chutes. No more pretty lights, alas. Six kilometers. There goes the drogue. Can't see it, but it's out. Drogue fully deployed. Cut. Main fully deploys. There we are. Nine hundred meters. We're in somewhat elevated terrain. Near the equator, 22 degrees east. We're probably near Lake Victoria. Three hundred meters. 200 meters, 100 meters, 50 meters. We'll slow down to 1x warp, 20 meters. And there we are. We have landed on the grasslands of East Africa. And we have completed our crewed lunar landing contract. Got a lot of money, a whole lot of reputation, a whole lot of fame for Victoria Douglas, Ralph Rivera, and Sandra Curtis. Let's go ahead and recover that. All right. See if I remember the landing. The landing was, I think, 8 degrees north and 22 degrees east, if memory serves. We got a lot of science. Surface sample, 
Yes. Surface sample from Moon's Midlands. We did not get return of a vessel that from landed on the moon. But for that, we can send up an automated um, sample return mission. Magic science, got some money back. And Victoria Douglas has advanced to level two. She got a bunch of experience points. Ralph Rivera got another two XP gained. Wonder why she got more than he did. Got me. All right, so on that happy note, I think we should bring this episode to a close. Um, we have landed on the moon and returned safely by the 23rd of November, 1964. So that is a great achievement. So thank you everybody for watching this tutorial campaign. Um, I'm no longer be going to be classifying it, classifying it as a tutorial. I'm just going to go ahead and stream as if I'm playing normally and I'll still upload stuff to YouTube so you can watch it. But yeah, the, the super duper tutorial component um, is going to come to an end. So again, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I hope you'll continue to enjoy the streams and, and episodes on YouTube. Uh, I hope that the tutorial campaign was helpful. You learned stuff from it. Uh, and I will see you again tomorrow night when we're playing a more interactive version of this, just continuing the campaign. So thanks, everybody, and bye-bye. That should get us lined up fairly well. Okay. So we are at 0 0.06. Our period is um, seven minutes shorter than the Labrador's period, which is fine because we're a hair behind it. Um, let's change to match planes with target. Oops, no, we want the nearest A and we'll target, I think. That is a 1.8 meter per second maneuver. Um, and it's way out there. Apparently that is where... Ah, because the DN is very near us. So we've just... we've just left the DN, so let's burn north a little bit. There's a method to this madness. Because we want to push the DN to where we are. Almost where we are. We are, oh, we're already already above it. All right, let's head around the other way. Apparently I did that wrong then. Happily it wasn't that much Delta V. Yeah, okay. So now we want to match planes. What do you mean? Why is that? <laughs> Can't even tell if we're above or below it. Let's see. We are... we appear to be above it. But let's look through the center of the planet. Where are you, planet center? Right there. Yep, we are totes above it. So we want to go down. Now, let's watch in map view. Picked up some steering losses. 
Gravity losses are mounting, but slowly. Uh, whoops. That's interesting. Unmech chip. Why are we why are we doing this? Um Okay, apparently we have to use stock SAS at the moment. Because under certain circumstances, and let's let's where's numbers? Oh, they know does it no longer oh, right, because we turned on use stock SAS so it won't have the numbers. Um Yeah. I don't know why that there's alright. Whoops, now we wanna lower that inclination right back down. Whoa! That's interesting. <sighs> that was interesting of you, Mechjeb. Alright. The heck with this. I'll fly it on manual. Okay, and we want to be about like this. Okay, actually more like this because we want to gently realign things. Pitch down a little bit more. Now we'll lower our relative inclination, and hopefully we will finish lowering it by the time we actually get aligned with that orbit. down a little bit more. Uh, we'll switch to orbit. And I think actually right now we want to We should get a nice, yep, separation one kilometer. All right, so now let's match velocities. That's in three minutes, and it's an 18 meter per second burn. Very well, we can do that. Let's go ahead and perform this kick. Okay. Let's control from here. We want to get nice and close. That's half of that killed. Okay. 
down to three meters per second. Close your right. And I think I want to come to a stop pretty soon. Like right the heck now. Whoop. Too much. This engine is just a little overpowered for me. All right, let's rotate. And ah, uh, we're coming in from the stern, I guess. I don't know why we picked up that roll. Okay, we've turned descent mode off because we can no longer control our things. Yes, that was that was quite a quite high G loading on return. Used next to no ablator. reached the height of our the highest point of our skip Fizz warp our long way back down. Mach twenty. Let's try eight thirty six. That gives us forty meters per second cushion. And let's try spinning it around until we get correct. It's in three days, eight hours. Let's try the other way. That's in set, yeah, we were right the first time. All right, let's try a bit more. 850. That leaves 25 meters per second for steering losses. Three days and four hours. All right, that's that's fine. And I'm gonna. It's only a th three minute 47 second burn, so I don't think our steering losses will be that bad. So. Now we go back to 10 seconds. Oops. 190, one second. 
42 kilometers, 13 kilometers. That's perfect. Very well. All right. So let's go ahead and um, we want to warp until a little bit before the maneuver. The maneuver is way over here. It will be a daylight departure. And there we go. Electric charge. We still have plenty. Okay, so let's orient for the maneuver. There's the big old moon below us. It is going to be prograde, which is in one of these directions. There it is. going to use most of our propellant, so if we call it 3 minutes and 45 seconds, that means a minute and a half, and now we want fine-tune. It's 5 meters per second. That gives us an intersect out there. I'd really like a quicker one, but I guess that will have to do. All right. Should not have, have warped like that. Should instead warp like this. Okay, it's 19 kilometers away. eight kilometers away. Point four kilometers. All right. So let's warp to near that. Okay. Second dip 
coming out well. The G's come down. We used just over half of our ablator. Yes, I, I wish we had had the RCS to keep a line for descent mode, but um, this this they survived, so that's fine. Subsonic, still 20 kilometers up. So we're going to warp down until we're ready to deploy the chutes. No more pretty lights, alas. Six kilometers. There goes the drogue. Can't see it, but it's out. Drug fully deployed. Cut. Main fully deploys. There we are. Nine hundred meters. We're in somewhat elevated terrain. Near the equator, twenty two degrees east. We're probably near Lake Victoria. Three hundred meters, two hundred meters, one hundred meters, fifty meters. We'll slow down to one X warp. I guess we should have stayed another two hours on the moon, too, because we're probably going to come down not exactly where we would like to. But that's okay. Five thousand, four thousand, three thousand. 2,000, 1,000 kilometers. All right, so time to bid our service module adieu. Whoa, whoops. Yeah, I need to unlock those things. Forgot about that. Whew, everybody's okay. All right. Okay, we're going to reorient.
descent mode to on. It's eight kilometers away. Four kilometers. All right. So let's warp to near that. still. Now we should get a nice, yep, separation one kilometer. All right, so now let's match velocities. That's in three minutes, and it's an 18 meter per second burn. Very well, we can do that. Let's go ahead and perform this kick. Okay, and perform that maneuver. All right, now we've matched planes pretty well. Now, Intersect one and target position. All right, so we've gone a little past it, so that means we need to do more than circularize at apoapsis so that we can go a little slower than it, let it catch up to us. I mean, let's look and see what fine tune does. It's a 38 meter per second maneuver. I don't want to pay that cost. Instead, let's do this. It's only a 19 meter per second circularization burn. Oops, and we're totally on the dark side. Okay, so. All 
All right. Now, we need to burn a little bit extra. Oops. That was too much. All right. That's looking good. All right. So the first orbit will fine tune, second orbit will match velocity and too much. Once we get nice and close, we'll kill off that velocity. Yeah. We are nice and close. All right. Who needs who needs lights when you have radar? closest approach is down here. We're inching towards it. That was too many. I hit I hit the time warp up key instead of the kill warp. Okay, I think this is about right. We'll have a slightly steeper entry angle, but we should be fine. Sixty four, eleven, twenty one, 
heading home. Okay, in we come. Guess we should have stayed another two hours on the moon, too, because we're probably going to come down not exactly where we would like to. But that's okay. Five thousand, four thousand, three thousand. 2,000, 1,000 kilometers. All right, so time to bid our service module adieu. Whoa, whoops. Yeah, I need to unlock those things. Forgot about that. Whew, everybody's okay. Already above it. All right, let's head around the other way. Apparently I did that wrong, then. Happily it wasn't that much Delta V. Yeah, okay. So now we want to match planes. What do you mean? Why is that? <clears throat> Can't even tell if we're above or below it. Let's see. We are... We appear to be above it. But let's look through the center of the planet. Where are you, planet center? Right there. Yep, we are totes above it. So we want to go down. Lined up here. Okay, that's better. Now we have the ascending node right there. Now let's match planes with target. And that is a 10 meter per second burn right there. And I think we also want to extend out our trajectory to 112 kilometers. We were really only ever so slightly behind, so we don't want to lose much. So. Alright, that's better. Now, okay, this is good. Now let's match planes with the target. It's in two minutes, and it's a 10.6 meter per second burn.
That's interesting. Not again. I guess I over budgeted slightly. I, I mean, under budgeted and over guessed what our. I, I under budgeted what our steering losses would be for that burn. We are 1.8 meter per second short. Very well. We know how to deal with this. just rock a little itty bitty bit. this down a little bit. That's interesting. Not again. I guess I over budgeted slightly. I, I mean, under budgeted and over guessed what our. I, I under budgeted what our steering losses would be for that burn. We are 1.8 meter per second short. Very well. We know how to deal with this. just rock a little itty bitty bit. this down a little bit.
slow down to 1x warp. 20 meters. And there we are. We have landed on the grasslands of East Africa. And we have completed our crude lunar landing contract. Got a lot of money, a whole lot of reputation, a whole lot of fame for Victoria Douglas, Ralph Rivera, and Sandra Curtis. Let's go ahead and recover that. All right. Um, let's see if I remember the landing. The landing was, I think, 8 degrees north and 22 degrees east, if memory serves. We got a lot of science. Surface sample. Yes. Surface sample from Moon's Midlands. We did not get return of a vessel that from landed on the Moon. But for that, we can send up an automated um, sample return mission. Basic science. Got some money back. And Victoria Douglas has advanced to level 2. She got a bunch of experience points. Ralph Rivera got another 2 XP gained. wonder why she got more than he did. got me. All right, so on that happy note, I think we should bring this episode to a close. Um, we have landed on the moon and returned safely by the 23rd of November 1964. So that is a great achievement. So thank you everybody for watching this tutorial campaign. Um, I'm no longer going to be, gonna be classifying, it, classifying it as a tutorial. I'm just going to go ahead and stream as if I'm playing normally, and I'll still upload stuff to YouTube so you can watch it. But yeah, the, the super duper tutorial component um, is going to come to an end. So again, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I hope you will continue to enjoy the streams and, and episodes on YouTube. Uh, I hope that the tutorial campaign was helpful, you learned stuff from it, uh, and I will see you again tomorrow night when we're playing a more interactive version of this, just continuing the campaign. So thanks everybody, and bye bye Let's look at our entry angle. Our entry angle is... that's somewhat severe. There goes the service module. Passing 80 kilometers. I'm going to turn on thermal. We have descent mode. We have descent mode on. Why did the G spike like that? That's weird. Something's fishy here. That was seriously fishy. Well, that was a really steep descent. We've turned descent mode off because we can no longer control our things.
yes, that was that was quite a quite high G loading on return. Used next to no ablator. Okay, that's better. Now we have the ascending node right there. Now let's match planes with target. And that is a 10 meter per second burn right there. And I think we also want to extend out our trajectory to 112 kilometers. We were really only ever so slightly behind, so we don't want to lose much. So, all right, that's better. Now, Okay, this is good. Now let's match planes with the target. It's in two minutes. And it's a 10.6 meter per second burn. Okay. Lined up. We'll let MechJeb handle this one. No! <sighs> I thought I'd let MechJeb handle that one. Guess not. Guess that was a bad mistake. Now we have to do it again. Now we can let MacJib do this. Okay. That brought our relative inclination down quite a bit. Um, Was that too far? Let's see. No, uh, oops, wrong way. This inclination, roughly. Because we need to move down here first and then go ahead and correct. So there. And we'll turn on fine control for now. Because we need to do quite a dog leg. So we want to go almost due west and we'll correct down there. Scrubber is activated. Now, let's watch in map view. Picked up some steering losses. Gravity losses are mounting, but slowly. 
Uh, whoops. That's interesting. Unmech chip. Why are we why are we doing this? Um Okay, apparently we have to use stock SAS at the moment. Because under certain circumstances, and let's let's where's numbers? Oh, they know does it no longer oh Right, because we turned on U-Stock SAS, so it won't have the numbers. Um, yeah, I don't know why that there's... All right, whoops, now we want to lower that inclination right back down. Whoa, that's interesting. <laughs> that was interesting of you, Mechjeb. All right, the heck with this. I'll fly it on manual. Actually, more like this because we want to gently realign things. Pitch down a little bit more. Now we'll lower our relative inclination, and hopefully we will finish lowering it by. All right, who needs who needs lights when you have radar? Closest approach is down here. We're inching towards it. That was too many. I hit I hit the time warp up key instead of the kill warp key. That was bad. It's 21 kilometers away. Very well. We will get closer. Okay, and now we want fine tune. It's five meters per second. gives us an intersect out there. I'd really like a quicker one, but I guess that will have to do. Alright. Should not have, have warped like that. Should instead warp like this. Okay, it's 19 kilometers away. 